friends close, elbows closer, I'm going to shout that yet tonight. And as well as that, I will also be saying, sometimes it's okay to be a dick. There are certain scenarios where you are defending, trying to frame and get the fucker off you. And you, are, you know, you've got them inside control. And at that point, it's okay sometimes to be a bit of a dick. Uh, we are going to be looking at escaping from the mount, side control, and if we have time, me and Bailey. Uh, really, there's going to be some concepts that are run throughout, and a few sort of finishes and finishing positions which are common between the positions. So we'll try and rattle through them, and uh, I'm going to set a wee timer for myself because my partner says all I do is fucking talk, so I'll try and keep that to a fucking minimum. Uh, bear with me. We all laughing. Oh. Was that beat laughing I heard? Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, so without further ado, apologies to those of you who were wanting further ado. No? Fuck, I'm fucking wasted here. Right, can I have a well known victim? Charles! <sighs> I'm so sorry. So let's have a look at the mount escape. So there's going to be little details, a lot of things I'll get, little movements I'll get to do separately. Um, yeah, I think you're all okay here. Just sort of stay in this cone here so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll assume we're in the mount. Um, I'm going to talk about the ideal position. And by that, I mean being stuck in mount bottom is shite, but it's not as shite as being in high mount. This is the real shit. So, uh, obviously, I'm aware there's various things, but we've got loads to cover, so let's not fuck around. Number one, I really want you to have your elbows jammed in tight to your side. In fact, not even that. Number one, don't fucking panic. Keep the heat. A lot of people go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> No. I want you to stay calm, take a deep breath. I used to train with a, a brown belt who was at least 50 kilos heavier than me. He was heavy as fuck. Uh, he was 23 years old, and all you do, every time we'd roll, he would get on top, and he would squeeze the shite out of me until I fucking vomited one time. Uh, that's how bad it was. But through that, I learned to stay calm even in the worst situations. So, from here, ideally, I'm looking to keep my head glued to the floor, shoulders glued to the floor, I'll keep my heels relatively close if you're getting great find. So he's hooking your legs, kick out, start working. But at all times, my shoulders stay on the floor and I'm wedging my elbows in here. I turn my hands as well. I turn my hands and my palms facing like I'm, I don't know, like I'm doing some fucking shit out of Cher's show. Does anyone know Cher? Does anyone listen to Cher? Or is it just me? Yes. yes. Thank you. Someone gets it. So I'm, I'm, what else? Oh, what are you looking for? Good. So <laughs> I'm wedging my elbows in, I'm wedging them in dead tight. Um, I'm keeping a little bit of tension in my arms as well because if my arms are loose, start fucking my arms, but I'm, I'm fucked. So there's going to be a little bit of battle here. Assume that your partner's not a fucking idiot and he's going to start trying to pry things off you. So you've got to be here like this. He's fighting this up. If you know when he starts getting high mount, oh, just walk back to so the camera can catch us. There we go. So I'm looking to always be here because it's less shite. From here, Elbows wedged in tightly. I'm going to pick a side to frame on. Tell you what, let's just rotate this one a little bit, thank you. There you go. I always pick this side here, and again, I keep my elbow firmly wedged in the inside of his thigh, framing here, and then I'll flatten my leg here. So I just rotate a little bit. So you see here, my leg's flattened. I know how people do this, but people also lift their shoulder. <laughs> no, don't fucking do it. You'll see here my head. I'm looking over there. There's a my hat right about. So it's harder. So if you come off a second, oh, I'm splitting my weight. All my weight isn't pointing this way. It looks a bit fucking weird, I know. But see how my feet are all kind of orientated, I'm kind of like, I'm like a car crash victim. You know what I mean? I bet I've been knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> you won't forget that in a fucking hurry. <laughs> But I'm doing this to make it more difficult for them to start crying shit off me. So come back, thank you. So, more difficult for them to pry stuff off. I'm turning, I'm looking over there, but my leg is flat on this side. Turn a little bit, just so people can see. From here, I'm going to do a classic, and all the bit goody, snatching into quarter mount. I should know, 
I do not like being in quarter mount. Quarter mount is shite, but it's less shite, shite than being full mount. So I'll accept it for now. Next, I'm going to start wedging with my elbow, but I'm going to keep my elbow close to my body. At no point do I open this up. Friends close, elbows closer. And see, I make a lot of space here. You see, I kind of extend my body. Ah, get my arm there. Forward. <laughs> Get it, didn't you? I thought I'm in half guard now, but I'm still in trouble. This is flat. Flat half guard is shite. Not as shite as full mount, but still shite. So from here, aggressively turn it, start looking for your move. This is the finishing position I want everyone to get to. I know it's a lot of steps, so allow me to repeat myself a little bit quicker. So number one, mount. Pretty shine. Wedge elbows in, hands facing you. From here, frame. So if I'm picking this hip, this is my left hand. My right hand goes on, left hand frames. You don't have to join the hands, I like to. Make sure you're wedging right inside your partner's thighs. You might have to fight a little bit. Ah, there we go, take that. From there, I'm flat, flat my leg. Look away, split it so he can roll you and start taking your back or other borage shine. From here, just turn that you. Snatch, trap. From here, a little extension of the body. So see, I kind of move away. I'm like, oh, hi over there. Quickly, and lift the legs, take your half guard, and then rotate your body in. You don't have to do some fresh air, you can push off your foot here. Turn to face your partner, underhook in, and ideally start popping. They come to dog fight. There's, there's deep half guard entries, but I want you to go from being a mount, which is shite, to half guard with an underhook, which is less shite. Does that make sense? Okay, I've not heard anyone say no, fuck you. So, without further ado, let's go. Play! Don't clap me! Clap me, shy! <laughs> There's a common little mistake, I'm seeing, not mistake, a small uh, mistake. A few people are asking me, how do you get from quarter guard to half guard? There's a little movement that I, I've been doing, so Charles. So, we've ended up in the quarter guard. Again, we're trying to keep flat as possible so we don't get, yeah, please, thank you. So we don't get feckin' mangled. From here, I will start initially pushing over the elbow, but I don't want to wing this out. I want to, I want to imagine I've got a marble in between my elbow and my ribs, and I can move it like this, no bother, no problem, but if I lift, the marble's gone. That was my favorite marble as well. I love that marble. Friends close, elbows closer. From here, see how I move my body away, I extend my body. Now I'm getting the hand on the inside of the thigh. Aha, uh -huh. but can he Kimura me? Go on then. Not easily. <laughs> That's the transition, but it's that little body movement. I'm keeping this jammed in. I'm keeping my weight heavy over this way. Extension of the body, oh, and then I can push, lift my legs, do a little bit of uh, grilled chicken as taught by the wonderful Crete. It's basically just a plug at this point. Bring your legs to your chest, recapture, capture that half guard and then get to your knees, get that underhook working and then you've got options from there. Does that make sense? Yes. One question about capturing the quarter guard initially. I'm having trouble getting this and keep hiding it on me a little bit. Any tips? Well, so actually, see what can you show me? Come out, come out, come out. Please. A little bit of a Say you want to show it, show it, show it. Sorry, show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to get like this, right? And then. You're going here, and this bit, put it in here, right in Can you get the toes? Can you get the toes on the floor? So, no, no, so not quite, so, I want you. 
to hook your pull from the inside. Aye, hook. Ah. You can hook the toes. That's another method. It's absolutely fine. And then, ah, ah. So just, ah. So just, so just tell me. Just start doing this and go down. Have a little bit of fun. Alright, so come up a second. I'll illustrate. Thanks, Gareth. I'll illustrate yeah. that just so everyone, the folks at home, can see. So, let's um, So, what Gareth was saying there is like, oh, oh, I can't get this fucking leg. Oh. So, toes instead come underneath. Whoop! Oh, ho, ho. little lift. Oh, there's my quad. God, it's fucking easy peasy. <laughs> and then from there, I'm going see And that's all she wrote. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. Thank you, guys. Right, folks, that's how we crack on. Play! Let's go! So, do we have any burning questions that simply cannot wait, or are we okay to go on? Excellent, right. Next. What? From the half guard. Ah. When you go through the kind of duck eye. Ah. Did you do it in one motion or two? Both. Both. Yeah. No, it's all typically one. So, Charles, I'll try and explain. It's typically one motion. I'm not going to go and do it in stages typically. So, I get to half guard. I'm not going to be like here and go one, two, three. It's all one continuous motion. The moment I get to half guard, I'm like, this is shite. I need to move. I'm very good. Or whatever I'm going to do. Perhaps I can't get. Perhaps, I, perhaps he's really fine. He's got a strong. Old, oh, fuck. I'm not getting the dog fight. Okay. Fuck you. Ooh, ooh. Of course, Charles has been really nice. In reality, most people would fight the deep half sweep and they go, no, fuck you. They'd base, they'd coast. At which point, we'd play the deep half game. You know, assume your opponent's not an idiot, but long story short, it's one motion. And the moment I hit that half guard, I'm fucking on it like shit on Velcro. Does that make sense? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Excellent. Right, so next, side control escapes. Uh, again, a lot of these principles will all um, take, will all be running through this technique, so everything's on you. Yep. So, Okay, I think everyone can see. If you can't see, come a little bit closer. Don't worry about it. So, again, we are in a shite position, but there are ways to make it less shite. Uh, I know I can get cross-faced. I know there's various things that people can do. That's fine. We know that's gonna happen, so if I get cross-faced, I quite like to pry this off. But my ideal position is to be facing my opponent my face is facing into him, my hips are facing into him, and I've got my elbows close, because... Your friend's close. Elbows close. You fucking got it. Oh, fucking... Give yourselves a round of applause, folks. <laughs> right, friend's close, elbows close at all times. So, from here, you'll notice... If I, if I just come up a second. Yep. You'll notice that I'm turning in. And again, my weight is a particular way. Again, I know there'll be some similarities here <coughs> with the material uh, done by Glorious Leader Pete in terms of the, the Hawking. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you now. Uh, I know there's some similarities here from the Hawking, uh, perhaps in a running man position. Uh, I'm turning my side here because I want to face my opponent and I want to be mechanically strong. So if I were to be flat here, because being flat is death, I'll have my foot propped here, I'll have my other foot based here, and I'll be primed and ready to go. I've got my elbows in, and again, my palms are facing me. Because if my palms are facing out, I am at more risk of getting this separated from my body and getting fucking mangled. So, illustrating that against a human being, you'll see here, I've got a little bit of strength here now. It's a little bit harder for Charles to flatten me. I'm gonna be a bit bullish, and you'll notice, if I have my hands rotated, rotated this way, it's a little bit easier for him to catch this. Elbows and my hand rotated this way, like I'm, like I'm Beyonce, you know, so. Uh, you know, all the single ladies, yeah? yeah. Everyone's seen that. So, like all the single ladies, oh man, the chance to him catch my elbow, slightly reduced, everything's tight, friends close, elbows closer. At this point, come on, come on. Okay, good. From here, I'm gonna start doing little bumps. 
I'm going to wedge my elbow underneath. Look, look at my little petite elbow coming underneath his arm. That is the thin end of the wedge. Underhook. And then we can come to a dog fight position. Uh, I also want to quickly show you, um, we'll get this motion first, then I'll call you back in and we'll talk about going flat as well. But for starters, side control. Elbows in. Feet out for base, because I ideally want to be facing into him. My hips facing into him. And I want to have a little bit of strength here so I can resist. If Charles starts really pressuring me, there we go. I've got a bit of space. And also, I can put a little bit of pressure on my forearm and the throat. Oh, you like that, son? <laughs> From here, I will start looking for any way to get my elbow poking it through. Then end of the wedge, then I start working here. And I know there's more than one way to skin a cat, but we don't have time. So, are we all content with doing this escape? Do we know what we're doing? Nah, I'll take that as a yes. All right, folks, go play, let's go. No clapping, clapping shite. Uh, I've made a small assumption which is wrong on me. I'm going to show you a little detail because a few of you are still getting stuck. You're getting an underhook which is lovely, but then you're still stuck flat. Now remember, I previously said that being flat on your back, generally speaking, I mean it's not a rule, it's a guideline. In a lot of scenarios, it's not always ideal. What I tend to do when I'm fighting for an underhook, I won't, obviously I'm bridging here to make space, but I'm not going to be totally insistent on always coming this way. There's a lot of times where I can't drive the shoulder forward. That's simple. Put another shoulder underneath me. Shoulder here. Shoulder not here. Shoulder here. Shoulder not here. That's how it is. I'm just bringing it behind me. I'm just scooping my shoulder underneath me. Chest to the floor. At this point, it's a lot easier to start working your way up. So for those of you who are perhaps getting your underhook in, it's like, ah, oh, 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 I'm stuck. Obviously, you want to be changing your feet to make it a little bit easier to come round, typically speaking. But also, you see how I'm on my face here? So rather than having my chest facing the ceiling, I can switch my hips. But even if I don't switch my hips, really, the main thing is my chest facing the floor here. So rather than the ceiling, drag my shoulder underneath me, put some weight on my face, and come up. So, in practically speaking, if I'm with Charles here, well, I've got this in, but perhaps he's, perhaps I'm, perhaps he's heavy on me, perhaps he's really, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not coming up this way. So see, I'm having to switch my hips, I'm having to scoop my shoulder underneath me. And now, okay, now we can start fighting. So it's that little motion there. There's a few of you who are struggling to get up. This little motion, will help with that. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Excellent. Right, crack on folks. Let's go. Oh, happy. I'm assuming that a lot of you already know dogfight, or at least will know how to get to your knees. Um, sometimes not always feasible, and a scenario I've had recently against some of my students who are good wrestlers, um, I will find that if I turtle, the moment I go to turtle off of this, they'll catch some sort of head and arm control, or maybe in something like a Peruvian necktie. Um, so I come here, and this happens. Now, this is annoying, I can defend this, there's various ways in, but it's effort I'd rather not expend. So I have started going flat. I'm like going absolutely flat on the floor and tucking everything in. So basically, all I'm doing, the moment I get up, so my elbows are tucked in, my hands are by my throat, and again, this is really just a variant of, um, of some of the creep stuff as well. Um, but all I'm trying to do, it's okay, I'm saying nice things, it's okay. 
<laughs> so, I'm going flat because I'm trying to avoid getting some sort of head and arm control put in me. As I say, if you come up against guys who are good at head and arm chokes, neckties, all the rest of it, you'll know my pain. Uh, about a month ago I started going flat and it improved my ability to not get immediately put in some sort of choke. Uh, so, just to illustrate, the moment I get this under the I'm flat. Now, caveats, there's always caveats. You're going to have to assume that the person is going to try and take your back, organise, manipulate your upper body in some way to get what they want. So the moment I go flat, and the moment I know, right, okay, he's not immediately getting anything, perhaps he's got a hand in, I will grab said hand, and I will backpedal like fuck. Hand fight, hand fight, hand fight, hand fight, hand fight. But that's what going flat gives you. It gives you a moment to actually grab the hands, grab what's trying to get you, and back away quick as fuck. So once more, dead simple. Do my skate. Ha! No, don't do that. What, you don't it doesn't work. I mean, it can at some parts of it maybe work, but fuck that. Who the fuck do you think I am? Steven Seagal? <laughs> so go flat, elbows firmly wedged in, chin tucked, grab here, and you're generally speaking wanting to back pedal away very fucking quickly. You can come back to seated guard. I would recommend not being on your knees. I would generally ask you to come back. We're in a seated position here, generally. There's, it's not a rule, it's just a recommendation. Take it or leave it. Does that make sense, what I'm asking you to do? Yes. Excellent. Go play! Let's go! Um, just to make a little clarity about going flat, a few people are saying, why are you staying there? I'm not. This is just a moment in time where I'm going, right, okay. What I'm waiting for, if it happens, as I transition, Charles, thank you, there you go. Right in front of me. So here, this is a moment in time. I will not wait, I won't go, where's his hand? No, 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 no. The moment I go flat, I'm out. I'm not waiting, because there's a few of you who obviously know a bit of wrestling, and you're saying, well, Giles, if you just stay here, you know, the legs get trapped, I'll, I'll tie you up knots. Absolutely, yes, you will. That's why I don't fucking stay there. I'll, you know, if, as I'm transitioning, uh, as I go flat, I feel his hand going around my neck or something like that, I'll quickly grab him and I'll bail. But if it's not coming in as I transition, I'll go, fuck it, I'm out. That's it. I won't stop for love nor money. I'm out. Simple as. Does that make sense, folks? I hope that. Good. A lot of nods there. Excellent. Last technique. It's a little bit of fun. So if you don't immediately grasp it, don't worry about it. It's the fetal guard I'm going to show. Um, I know it's a ridiculous name. Uh, this I originally saw this done by Chu Kwong Man, one of Brawler Steam's first black belts in the UK. Really nice technique. This works if you're being turned away from your opponent. Um, other notable mentions, you can also look at the sort of running man and hawk and stuff from here. All excellent material. <laughs> but, I'll say this is uh, another particular technique I like. So, from here, again, friends close. Hello, sir. Oh, you guys are fucking magic. From here, I want to back into my opponent. I want to stay connected to them. And I am looking to grab this hand here. Again, keeping my elbow super close. Both hands on. Shin on. Cut the tricep. He's not escaping anytime soon. It's like fucking pull that arm away. Go on. Go on. Oh, I'm out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what a gem. So, from here, I'm stuck in my side. He's putting pressure on. Perhaps he's turned me over. Who knows what's happened? Oh, I'm going to walk into him, kind of like a reverse Homer Simpson, to make sure my back is glued to him. From here, I want that hand. I can't grab with his hand. Oh, maybe I would. No. Friends close, elbows closer. Grab, straighten, pass. Ah. 
Shenon, cut. And you see I kind of leave her. I leave it his arm towards me so he's slightly less likely to escape. From there, I begin my grand escape. So I'll start straightening the shin. If I'm super bendy, I'll get my feet on. And there's, don't worry, you can't do this if you're like, Charles, I can't fucking do that. That's fine. Shin on. Both shins on. Hell, you might go, oh, oh yes, I'm fucking magic. There's going to be a couple of things which might happen at this juncture. One of the things which might happen is they stay on their knees and they start backpedaling and go, what the fuck is... I go, ah, okay. Ah. Or, they might stand instead. So perhaps I've got here, they might go, oh, for fuck's sake. And then I'm going to assume that everyone has access to someone who can teach them how to do a low single. Low single. I know there's a million ways to do it. Single leg, ankle pick. Basically, just grab them with the fucking leg and make them fall over. That's all it is. Grab one is easy. I don't know what a big fuss is. So, one last recap. I'm turned away, back into him, stay glued to him. Mine. Mine. Both hands on. Shin on. This is key. Get it right in the crook of the, the elbow. Cut the tricep. There's no fucking escaping now. You're mine now. From here, I can start getting this a little bit higher. Oh, oh, start extending. Oh, yes, there we go. And then I can get both shins in. I, I typically like to go to both feet. I might even raise the hand to get this on. But either way, I'm making a gap and I'm anticipating him going, what the fuck is going on? And him reacting. He's not going to stay there and say, OK, Charles, it's fine, do what you want. And obviously, you know, if you're lucky and the gods smile upon you, there might be a triangle. But generally speaking, you're looking to have a replay guard or get the fuck out of dodge. So, you know, if they stand up, you can go back to seated guard, you can maybe try for a low single if you're feeling like it. But the main principle is, get that arm, get a shin on, and start fucking cranking on it until they go, oh, fuck, <laughs> or something like that. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Right. Lovely. Last technique, and uh, then we will wrap up. Let's go, let's play. No, no, I saw you there. I saw you were gonna clap. <laughs> All right, folks, do we have any questions that simply cannot wait? Any questions at all? Yes. For well, someone like me, this has a long ass arms around in the uh, get the under this. So which in, position is it? Yours? In the uh, second position. In the. Uh, so it's the same question I asked. Yeah. How to get the elbow under? Oh yeah. right. Okay. Um, so uh, John's can boy please. Which usually the, this is way longer than mine. There's going to be a little bit of work involved, and it's mostly involved bumping and violence. <laughs> so, I apologise, Charles and the fans. So, so, your elbow's out, obviously, so you're in a bit of danger, right? This is the position yeah, we're talking about. Okay, so from here, remember, I'm walking my feet out, I'm turning in. I am generally going to have my hands kind of wrapped around the shoulder. See, I'm kind of cuddling or cradling the shoulder bone here. From there, as I love, see, I kind of just roll my wrist into the throat. Is that? There you go, have that. I can leave it a wee bit and then from there, bump, bump, bump. Remember, the third rule I said, sometimes it's okay to be a bit of a dick. That's me being a bit of a dick, I'm sorry. So you're using that little bump motion, the slight frame there, obviously you're, you're not wheeling your elbow all the way out. If you expose your elbow, you're possibly fucked. But a little bit of pressure, a little bit of leverage, that's all you need. And then you're bumping, and also you're bumping up, and also forward a wee bit, because that makes it easier. So, okay. yeah. So let me let me show you again. So from there, and I'm trapped. It's not just bumping into them because that's that alone is a bit shite. It's bumping in, but also I'm kind of corkscrewing my body over this way. So I'm not just going into them. I'm also going a wee bit up. So here with this. Turn into him, and also remember, I'm doing the Beyonce, I'm turning my hand to face me to make it easier to corkscrew the elbow in and feed it in. 
you may have to bump more than once. That is fine. That is absolutely acceptable. Does that answer your question? Yes. Excellent questions. Right. Unless we have no more burning questions. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. So, when you have to find a guard position, Put on. So, are we talking about here? Yeah. Put it on. Put it on there. I'm being a bit of a cunt here. I'm essentially jamming my bicep in, and I'm trying to make just enough space, just enough space to make the elbow light, uh, to make the knee light. Sorry. I'm not expecting to fall back as dramatically as this, but it's just enough so I can get the pressure off. Maybe scoot my hips out and not be totally fucked. Does that answer your question? Question. Where's the kilt? You what? Where's the kilt? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, where's your, where's your protocol? <laughs> <laughs> See, I can do the, I can do the fucking stereotypes too. <laughs> right. <laughs> I will call it there for now, folks. All I want to say is thank you very much for coming to the class. If at any point during the camp you want to pick my brains, harass me a wee bit, ask me questions, Please, I invite you to ask questions because I love figuring out problems. Uh, you've all been wonderful and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs>